90, T minus 2 minutes VM, verify flight computer, auto sequencer started. Auto sequencer started. Check step 90. BLC, verify T minus 2 minute limit checks are go. Limit checks are go. Check 91, PCC, activate ordinance arm enable. Arm enable. Check 92, PCC, arm booster ordinance. Booster arm. Check 93, PCC, arm Orion motor SNAs. Orion's arm. Check step 94. And all stations were currently standing by step 95 at T minus one minute. Step 95, T minus one minute, Orb TM start, NCU Dewey. Dewey started. Check 95. Step 96, FTS, NCU external on. External on. Check 96, VM verify, NCU external power. External go. Check 96, PCC, activate NCU batteries. Batteries activated. Check 98, FTS, NCU external off. External off. Check 99, VM, verify NCU batteries. Batteries go. Check 100. Standing by, steering test. VMs go for launch. Copy that, VM. Check step 101. T minus 10. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. We have Student flight path or nominal. The next expected event is stage three TVC battery activation, followed by the stage two separation and stage three ignition in approximately 15 seconds. TVC battery activation, battery power looks good. We have confirmed stage two separation and stage three ignition. Stage three motor pressure is expected. Fairing separation recurring approximately eight seconds. Stage three attitude and flight path are as expected. We have confirmed fairing separation, link 88 switching to stage four antenna. We're approximately 25 seconds into the 75 second stage three burn. Thrust vector actuator responses are within predictions.
Orbital guidance initiated. Vehicle attitude and performance are nominal. T plus three minutes. We are now entering stage three motor tail off. All systems remain within predictions. The Minotaur 1 launch vehicle has achieved the required velocity to coast up to a nominal insertion apse of 500 kilometers. The launch vehicle has begun reorienting to the required stage four ignition attitude. The launch vehicle is now 290 miles downrange at an altitude of 150 miles, traveling at a speed of 12,400 miles per hour, or Mach 20. All systems remain nominal. The flight computer is calculating a stage four ignition time. The Minotaur launch vehicles are reporting nominal status. Vehicle attitude is nominal. The next expected event is stage four TVC battery activation that will occur approximately 11 seconds before the stage three separation. The launch vehicle is currently 40 seconds to the, into the approximate five and a half minute stage three coast period. Five minutes mission time, stage four ignition is expected to occur in approximately four minutes based on pre flight predictions. The Mars vehicle system will report in nominal status. Vehicle attitude is nominal. The launch vehicle is currently calculating the optimal stage four ignition time. The launch vehicle has calculated the required time for stage four ignition, which will occur in approximately 200 seconds. Antigua AOS. T plus six minutes mission time, continuing in stage three coast. Stage four ignition will occur in approximately 170 seconds. The Minotaur launch vehicle systems are reporting nominal status. The launch vehicle has completed the reorientation maneuver for stage four ignition. The vehicle attitude is nominal. Vehicle is now 850 miles downrange at an altitude of 270 miles, traveling at a speed of 11,700 miles per hour. T plus seven minutes mission time, continuing stage three coast. Stage four ignition will occur in approximately 123 seconds. So minute one, Minotaur one launch vehicle systems are looking good. Vehicle attitude is nominal. T plus seven and a half mi minutes mission time. Stage four ignition will occur in approximately 93 seconds. Launch vehicle is currently in its stage three coast, awaiting stage four ignition.
T plus eight minutes mission time and counting. The Minotaur One launch vehicle is approaching stage four ignition, which will occur in approximately 60 seconds. The Minotaur One launch vehicle systems remain nominal. Attitude is nominal. Stage four TVC battery activation has been initiated. Battery power looks good. We have confirmed stage three separation event. Stage four ignition is expected in approximately 11 seconds. We have achieved stage four ignition. Stage four attitude is nominal. The launch vehicle is now 1,400 miles downrange at an altitude of 320 miles, traveling at 12,600 miles per hour. Stage four thrust vector actuator responses remain within prediction. Stage four tailoff will occur in approximately 15 seconds. We have stage four tailoff. remain within predictions. Vehicle attitude is nominal. The required non-insertion apps and inclination have been achieved. Wallops LOS. Vehicle is currently holding altitude for spacecraft deployment, which will occur in just over one minute. T plus 11 minutes mission time. Spacecraft deployment will occur in approximately 75 seconds. Vehicle attitude is nominal. Plus 11 minutes and 30 seconds. The launch vehicle power remains within predictions. Spacecraft deployment expected to occur in approximately 30 seconds. Dead bands have been tightened in preparation for spacecraft separation. Confirm spacecraft separation. We have confirmed IPS sequence and initiation. Launch vehicle attitude and rates of payload separation appear nominal. The launch vehicle has initiated the first of two planned contamination and collision avoidance maneuvers. The launch vehicle will continue to perform the planned contamination and collision avoidance maneuvers and then begin reorientation for CubeSat deployment. Reception of telemetry is expected to end in less than one minute with the loss of signal from Antigua. Further live data from launch vehicle will not be available after LOS.
Deployments of the QSAT expected to begin in approximately six and a half minutes. Antigua LOS. We have loss of signal from Antigua. This concludes the Minotaur post launch status updates. And that concludes tonight's mission of the Air Force Minotaur 1 launch from Wallops. The launch did occur as at uh, 8.15. PM Eastern Time. The primary satellite did deploy on schedule as planned. And uh, coming up, the next events would be the secondary CubeSat payloads. But since we are out of the acquisition of signal for our downrange Antigua radar, uh, we will not immediately know uh, the status of those deployments. The next launch from Wallops will be the Antares rocket carrying the Cygnus Cargo Carrier for Orbital Sciences Corporation to the International Space Station. That will be a night launch, currently scheduled for December the 15th. Thank you for listening. This is Wallops Flight Facility Range Control Center.